Um, when do we ask for a CT in a trauma patient? So for a patient with GCS15, any one of the following findings warrants, uh, warrants for a CT according to the New Orleans criteria. Okay? To remember this, uh, think about these seven dwarves. One is vomiting, one has mm -hmm. visible trauma above the clavicle, one is intoxicated, another has seizure, another is old, more than 60, and another has headache, and one is forgetful. Okay? Interrogate amnesia type. Okay? So any one of these uh, findings will warrant for CT in a GCS-15 patient. Okay? Now, how do we compare this criteria to another criteria, which is the Canadian criteria? Okay? So, three of these findings okay, are present in the Canadian CT head rule. Okay? Um, to remember what these three criteria are, think about the dwarf which is who is vomiting, another who is old, and the other one who is forgetful went to Canada. Okay? So, if you have two or more episodes of vomiting, 65 years or older, okay, note here, 65, not 60, and then if you have amnesia, okay, that warrants for a CT in the Canadian CT head room, okay? So for the, for this Canadian CT head room, you have seven criteria, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three of which are present in the New Orleans criteria, okay? Represented by these three dwarves. So we are left with four other criteria, okay? So one is GCS, which is deteriorating. Second, if you have a depressed skull fracture or open skull fracture. Another is basal skull fracture. And seven, if you have a dangerous mechanism of injury. Yeah. For example, uh, an auto versus a pedestrian, motor versus pedestrian, or you have an ejection from the vehicle. Okay? So there. Um, what about for patients who are presenting with GCS of 3 to 15? Okay? According to this criteria, um, CT is warranted if you have CAL or call Canada, confusion, amnesia, and loss of consciousness.